just getting ready. Let me. Let's go. Hold on. <laughs> My name is Felipe. I'm 31 years old. I was born in Brazil. It's been seven years and a few months that I have Australia as my home. I'm also a mechanical engineer. When I was, I think, five or six years old, my mom gave me a bike. My parents uh, both are engineers and they got transferred to, uh, to the countryside of Sao Paulo. And that countryside life gave me uh, uh, what a, a mate of mine used to say, the freedom machine. The bike allowed me to travel around the city, you know, to meet my friends. And so I became more and more connected with cycling. A few years later, we moved to the Amazon. At that time, as I was growing up, becoming a teenager, my parents gave me like a mini boogie, so I became more mechanically minded. And that later on helped me when I started uh, mechanical engineering. So I had a, a background of freedom, you know, having my parents and my grandparents also like engineers. And when I started studying, everything like intertwined. E-bikes, they opened up a new branch of opportunities. With my e-bike, I can go twice as fast, twice as further. And that's, I would say, the minimum. Some of our bikes do three, four, five times more than you would do on a normal bike. E-bikes align with our busy city life. When I was a child, I had the, the curiosity to know what my name means. So Felipe means horse whisperer or someone that's friend of horse. As I was growing up, I could go to farms. You know, my family had a farm in, in, in the center of Brazil and I could connect with horse, but I, I had always felt a pity for the horse because I, I was against the type of work people were putting them to, to do. In Australia, we have the Melbourne Cup. On the stall, the 26 runners make an almost perfect line, but battle standard near the rails is It's a horse lead. racing cup that happens in Melbourne. And every year, a horse, at least one horse, is killed on the race. And that's a pity, and that, is, uh, that happens to today. So I wish we could put e-bikes and put the jockeys cycling. But the, the point is the horse in the 19th century were the tool that pushed humanity through. Uh, and that was so important that today we still measure uh, po uh, power in our cars through horsepower. The e-bike still uses human power. Uh, you are always on an upright position. The connection you make to your bike is very similar to the one that you're gonna build with your horse. So among all the vehicles we have today, I think the e-bikes bike, e are the ones that approach to the horse feeling and sensation without the punishment that we would give to, to a horse. 